Do Rag Wisdom here, folks, and welcome to Y2K 18.03.14. 237 days until the midterms. 237 days that Trump can further ruin our USA and scar us forever. President Trader has plenty of time to fuck us. That 237 days we have until election day is only the midterm of President Pussy Grab's four-year term. If we manage to elect Democrats in 237 days, we can begin to stop this assault on our country. But what if the final tragic result of President Berther Bastard's term is that we never have a liberal democratic party again. That party will take on the role of the GOP of the 1950s and impotently stand against an extremist, religious, totalitarian party on the right. Will there still be a USA at the end of the 21st century. President Creed claimed that he and he alone will run things. That he and he alone will fix things. And ironically enough, President Sociopath is keeping his promise by making sure that everyone in his cabinet and everyone in his GOP syncophantically follows only him. I am not surprised by the firings. I am not surprised by the chaos. President Fuckface is following his reality show programming to the letter. President Schrader is licking up the Putin drippings to undermine everything, everything that our country stands for, everything that makes us unique. President Prevaricator has plenty of time to ruin us, especially since he has a sure 35% that will support him no matter what. I mean, they're going to get out and vote these creeps that support this fascist bastard. Meanwhile, on the left side, we're, we're not sure if we're going to vote for a Democrat. We may even stay home, keep that creep with us for another four years, maybe forever. That's what he wants. President Bone Spurs will continue to destroy our federal government. He will appoint reactionary religious extremist judges. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy is retiring, and he'll be retiring, I think, around June. Just think about how much more this so-called Supreme Court will become even more not impartial. What a joke. What a bunch of bullshit. And the late great George Carlin said, bullshit is bad for you and it will kill you. President Colbarde will continue to undermine our holy, pristine public lands. He will continue to poison our water. President Shitheel will continue to undermine our traditional free public schools. President Fecal Ball will continue his goal to fulfill his assertion that only he and he alone can fix it. President Hitler will continue to support extremist ideology which is anti-American and anti-democracy. I believe that if it were up to President Sewer, only he and he alone will be running and ruining our country. Answering only to his boss, Putin, every step of the goddess damn way. Look at what President Little Hands has done so far. And when he says that he has accomplished a lot, President Scumbag is not lying for a change. 
because President Moron has accomplished a lot for our destruction. In the meantime, at least two elections, one in Alabama and one in Pennsylvania, and at this broadcast, the latter is still up in the air, and it was close, but I'll assume, I shouldn't assume, but the Democrat won in Pennsylvania too, hopefully. But irony of ironies, these are right-wing Democrats who will not be on board with a fully progressive agenda. If you've read The Lord of the Rings, you know that in the fight against evil, even if the good triumphs, it comes through with irreparable damage for the rest of its, its existence. A tourist from the UK affirmed to me that he had faith in us, he had faith in the basic goodness of Americans, and he assured me that our nation would survive. But sadly, if we do, the scars of the Trump-Putin terrorist era will be with us forever. See? I called the Cree president. <laughs>